show you a beautiful Italian morning. Yeah, the water is like glass out there. And the fishing boats are heading out. They're getting ready to do their thing. The air is fresh, it's cool, really nice. And uh, they're putting out the dried fish right there. This lady here. And I'll walk over there and show you how they do it. Got the fish drying. Oh wow, look at them all. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, get some like that. Lays them out. They split them in half. This fish here. So she gets them all organized and nice and neat. And then, and and uh, how how long does it take before they're ready? Like one day, two days, one week before they're dried? Half a day. Oh, uh, okay, just half a day. Oh, wow, that's fast. Oh, because it's a hot day. There's a big fish here that they're going to, that they split right, right there. He's the one with the dots on him. On, on. You'll see those from time to time. Uh, uh, she's got to work this side now. But like I was telling you, the ocean's really nice today. The boats are heading out. They're getting ready. I think they're, uh, I don't know if they're motoring yet, but they're out there. There's the other boats. Well, I don't know if you can see them. I can see them. But they're out, out there. There's probably half a dozen or more boats out there. These guys just probably came back. That's how she got these fish probably early this morning, right at sunrise. I'm guessing. So, anyway, I'm going to show you a beautiful Bentayan morning and uh, drying fish, getting them ready. So, we will wander around. Thank you. Wander over here. It's got my drip system installed yesterday, so I gotta turn it off this morning. These are little kids. What you got in the bag? Uh, yeah, what's inside? Inside. Uh-huh, in, in there? Oh, fish net. Oh, okay. You going fishing? Yeah, they're going fishing. They got their dad's fish fish net there. Taking it fishing near Sunset Beach. It's all nice and mellow. I haven't installed the drip system on this side yet, but I'm about to. Maybe, uh, well, we got, it's coming up on uh, what they call Holy Week. It's actually um, like Good Friday and, uh, you know, the resurrection. Uh, I guess Easter would be what... Uh, uh, it might be called uh, Holy Week, Easter, that kind of a thing. So, uh, anyway, everybody, this island becomes one of the most popular places in the Philippines uh, on that uh, weekend. It's three or four days. I'm getting some uh, coconuts up, up there starting to grow. You can see that little tiny one there. Yeah, they'll start sprouting out pretty soon. And, uh, Oh, here's the main lot. Oh, we killed a little baby python last night. Oh, it's still in the, in the road. It was actually, uh, I pile up these coconut uh, fronds, palm tree fronds, because uh, my uh, friend's uh, father uh, actually catches these blood clams. These are blood clams here. But they have to boil them uh, and then uh, open them and then uh, take the meat out and then uh, after they do that they uh, um, send them off to market in Cebu so they use these uh, boiled blood clams uh, I guess for soups and, and, and stuff so people in you know Cebu I guess they ice them down and buy them and, and, and ship them but the leaves they use those leaves to make the fires to boil them with so Anyway, 
Well, I better go turn off the water. We turned our drip system on last night and uh, left it on all night. This, this, this first time it's ran. So we just turned the main line off and on because we don't uh, use, use the water here for our rental house. So there's a little meat of you. Reach down here. Oh, wait a minute. I want to think. I want to see how much this thing spins with the drip system on. Spins pretty good. That's this little pointer right here. You can see him spinning around and around. So he goes pretty slow with the drip system on. So that's good to see. Okay, he's off. Yeah, and we don't have much water pressure this morning either. So that's another reason why uh, it isn't spinning any faster. Last night, I'm sure it sp spun pretty fast. But uh, I don't know if you actually saw the ocean there. I'm going to walk over here, look through my beach here, and see how calm it is. I got my finger in front of the camera. But as you can see, you don't see no waves. There's no way, just a few ripples out, out, out there, but yeah, it's just super, super flat and glassy, really nice. Tide's about mid-tide. I don't know if it's coming in or going out, but it's just totally peaceful out here. So anyway, these are, these are yellow bells here going, they're starting to bloom. Once it gets dry, they'll start to bloom. And this is also a yellow flower, but it's a, a vine. And uh, it's starting to sprout out now. It's been dry, but it rained the other day. But again, we need to uh, be sure to uh, get this drip system hooked up so all this stuff will really go nuts growing. So, oh, here's the python right there that, that I killed. Chopped off his head wait for everybody to go by before I can show you but that right there my friends is a baby python dead baby python but nonetheless a baby python so he was lived in living in I think that uh, coconut brush pile so I'm gonna get that out of here because they come from the mangrove swamp down there that's where the parent pythons live and I've never seen a big one but I've seen uh, eggs well, when we uh, dug up to make the fence posts for the garden, we dug up a whole nest of uh, hatched eggs. There's about 12. Uh, they're like a leathery uh, kind of an egg shell. But anyway, they were in that, uh, the python came out of that brush pile right there. So anyway, we will be back with more from my paradise on Matani Island. Bye for now.